Uh, thank you for all uh, for coming tonight. I know that uh, everyone is very busy, especially as we approach Holy Week and a lot of things going on. So I really appreciate you taking the time. We want to try to educate the public about uh, Catholic education. And this is our part two of a three-part lecture series. The first one earlier in the month with Dale Alquist, who's the president of the Chesterton Institute, uh, talked about the 30,000-foot view of classical Catholic education. And Mark Salisbury, who's the director of evangelization and education at the Diocese of Marquette, he's actually putting it into practice. So theory, now we're going to hear a little bit about practice. Before we begin, though, of course, uh, let's start with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and to the hour of our death. Amen. Uh, as I mentioned before, the purpose of this lecture series, one is to educate the public of uh, the Little Traverse Bay Area about what I would call the fastest growing education reform movement in the United States. It started in the early 1990s with about 20 schools and a, about 100 kids, and now we've got 200 schools and it's serving almost a half a million kids. So it doesn't sound like a lot, but in terms of that exponential growth, it really is a lot. So it's not only educating the public, but also promoting what we're doing and trying to uh, folks to come out, go out of these uh, lectures and tell uh, their friends and their neighbors about St. Michael Academy. I like to call classical education in the Catholic mode the pursuit of the true and the good and the beautiful. Uh, and we do that by taking our kids through an intellectual journey uh, through th three major cities, Athens, Rome, and Jerusalem. And because we speak English, London as well. Uh, and so uh, that's really the purpose and the, and the intent of the approach. That's the theory. Uh, but we all know that this theory is, is, is hard for folks to understand. It's different. A lot of people have, were not, uh, especially adults, parents, were not uh, given this opportunity to have this kind of education. And so it's new. I never thought in my life uh, somebody like me would be doing something new, but I am, right? But it's proof that if you stand in place long enough, you become avant-garde. Right. Um, and so what Mark is doing up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan is quite remarkable. About three years ago, I was at a conference in, outside of Philadelphia, a uh, classical Catholic conference, and uh, somebody was regaling all of these teachers about the fact that the Upper Peninsula, through leadership from the top, from the bishop, and from other folks, were, uh, completely changed over their entire K through eight curriculum, and uh, and they're all classical schools right now. Uh, without further ado, Mark Salisbury.